so I've welded a little piece. You can see this. I've welded this piece in here. This is the the new inner wing that we built, and this is the uh, tonneau. But what I did when I built the tonneau, I wanted to keep the edge straight. And in hindsight, it wasn't really a good idea uh, because this has been lead loaded. I used <clears throat> a straight edge and then lead loaded it up against it. Now the lead will melt, obviously, very easily against the weld. So what I'm having to do now is actually cut back the line I made because what will happen is the solder will melt a much lower heat than, than the welding is. So I'm going to cut the, the lead load back a bit to stop it pouring in into the weld along there. Um, and then I can get a good weld all the way around and then I'll re-lead load the whole thing again. But you can actually see here, um, what I'll do is I'll bring the camera in now and I'll show you what I mean. I'll take a piece out all the way down here um, and then you can see what, we're, what I'm trying to do. So as you can see, I can get a really nice weld in there, good penetration, but the lead is moulding into it. If I, if I put the heat on there too long, the lead's falling back in. I should... So I want to protect these uh, bolt holes here, so what I'm going to do is, I've made up this little, uh, it's just a thread insert that you can put in a piece of metal. Obviously I want to lead load all the way around there, but I don't want the lead obviously to go into the bolt hole. So I've just basically put this on, so I can lead up against it. In fact, I can take this up a little bit more and then just tighten that down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the tinning compaste in the tinning paste on and then I'm going to lead load this, just this section here. Try and get it around the back. And then I can Clean it and drop the lead in there. What I'll do, when I put the lead in, I'll, I'll let it go soft and then I'll take this out and this will make its own thread, hopefully. What you'll see is the, the tinning compound will start to, uh, kind of like a silvery colour, like it's burning almost. And you'll see it drying up. Hopefully that's coming on, on camera now. You can see it drying up as I, as I do it. So what I'll do is I'll just clean this side first. And then I'll give it a, a white. I always try and use uh, gas is cold. See there, it's gone like a, it's almost like a chrome. The bar starting to go now. We want to keep this tinning good as well. You can see it now starting to sag. The 
And what it'll do is it'll just run. You can see it running there. In that valley. The hotter I make it, the more it'll run. Take the paddle, push it in. So now I can get this so it's melting a bit. There we go, push it in. Nice seal. So what I'll do now is I'll just clean this all down. And this is just a body file, a lead body file. This is only for taking the rough uh, stuff off. You can bend this to basically whatever position you want. You can open it up, make it flat. So obviously this profile will change, so you can have it the other way around, and so on and so on. And then I'll bring you back. So as you can see, I've got it all cleaned up there. It's nice and flat. It's not finished completely. And there's a nice round hole there for the, which is completely leaded in, and I can put the bolt back in by hand. over that uh, to hold in the outer wing. And that's basically how it's done. Uh, I've got to clean all this up a little bit. It might need <coughs> a very slight bit of filler over it, but uh, just a skim basically. And uh, yeah, and that's it. So that, that bit there I've got to clean up a bit more, but it's pretty flat now. Uh, should accept the outer wing really well. And I'll go on and do the rest, but that's that's the the basics of it.